hey everybody I think my camera's crooked I don't know I can't tell um I hope it's straight for y'all I don't know okay we are ready to do another one of our little journal cards that's what I decided to call them as our little journal cards they were all on this white ring but I took the paper off and put it on here so I could just grab one real easily and then add to this as we go okay so I was um, looking I will tell you that I was look googling um, this stamp set right here For, I had um, my aunt bought me these um, at a garage sale there was a big huge garage sale and I got tons of stamps and this one is called organic grace I know they don't sell anymore but you can use whatever you want and um, let's see this is a um, I forget I don't know who I saw the card after but anyway I was inspired by uh, a card I saw I can't find the name so um, what I want to do is go ahead first let's um, guess what we're gonna do ink up everything <laughs> I bet y'all didn't have a clue as to what we were going to do. So first of all, I'm going to ink it all up. Get that done. Whoops. There we go. This is an um, orange color, but I think this is actually a Stampin' Up! piece of cardstock because it's really thick, and I think this is called Cajun Clutch let's see what is it called Cajun craze or yeah craze um, it's one of my favorite colors their their cardstock's really good and I think this is too um, I think this is probably always artichoke I'm not sure used to sell it I know are y'all tired of hearing that <laughs> okay There we go. Got those layers done. Let me kind of start gluing um, all the layers together, except for the white. Let me put these together and see um, about getting that done. First, just a little... tight little fit because these cards are what did I tell you two by three and a fourth so if you want to make some two and three and a fourth but I got these at um, Walmart okay now let's put this one on just kind of looking at card ideas so and I was inspired by this one but I can't use the flowers out of the, um, I can't use the flower out of here, out of that pack, because it's just way too big. So I'm having to change it up, really, actually, but it gave me an idea. Just gave me an idea. There we go. Now this, I want to, um, <clears throat> see if I can make it straight. I just want to ink up to about right there. Let's see if I can do that. I don't want to go any further than that. do the same thing on the other side let's see there we go kind of looks like <clears throat> a mess 
Okay, I just want... Oi, oi, oi. I don't know if this is even going to fit, so... I might do one there or there. Let's see. Maybe one at the bottom. There. All right, that kind of gives us a little background. Okay. Now I want to make some flowers. Let me get a piece of paper. A little bit of white cardstock. And I'm going to do three flowers. I don't know if I want to double them up or not. Well, you know, just to give it a little more interest instead of just single layer flowers. Kind of, I'll go ahead and double it up. There we go. All right, I need some sponges to color them in. And of course, that color and that one. First, I want to kind of go over them with, y'all, I can't help it. I can't help myself. I've got to have some crushed curry, this yellow pretty intense just like that there we go that's some bright yellow in it oh I just love it can't help it oh, I'm looking for the lid I forgot that you pull it out like this <laughs> Oh well, that's that. Okay, I don't have, oh, but I do have this um, uh, blender pen. This is a Stampin' Up! It is like really well loved. Let me see if I can do it this way. If it doesn't turn out, then I can... Um, I can just put it on um, the back of the flower. <laughs> so we'll just kind of barely, barely, barely touching it. Not too sure about that. Not too sure about that. I'm just kind of This one will definitely go on the back side. I'm just kind of hitting where the little lines are on the flower so that it's already kind of, you know, where the little lines will be. It's probably highlight. This is like really dark. What do you think? I'm not too sure about that. I'm not too sure about that. Let's do one more. Just because I'm a, I mean, I am barely, barely touching, barely touching this paper with this pen because I don't want it that dark. And then I may hit it with the sponge after that. See what happens. That's much better, but I just barely touch it. Give it some color, just barely, barely. I 
What do you think about that? It's better. Much better. That is definitely going underneath the flower. I'm, when I say barely touching, I can barely feel the fibers from the uh, pen touching this paper. So, I can probably speed through this in just a minute. So, you don't have to sit here and watch me color this whole time and the video is not too long. So, let's see if I can do it. I don't know if I can. I may just splice it. So, Okay, what do you think about that? I don't know if they're going to turn out very pretty, but we'll see. Here's my punch. Punch them out. Makes a difference when you punch them out and all that good stuff. And then I'll ink around the edges. And go from there. How's that sound? Okay, they are cut out. Now I want to ink the edges with this um, vintage photo just because it'll give it a little more vintage feel. <laughs> I guess that's why they called it that, vintage photo. Okay, they're inked up. Now I want to just kind of put them together and then I will probably, I think I'm going to use my blender pen again. And, okay, this is going on the bottom because this is not very attractive. It's not very pretty. There's one. A little glue down there. Stick that on there. Do I need to put bling on them, you think? Should I? Oh, I'm always doing bling bling. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, they are together. Alright. Let me get an idea if that's going to even look good. Put three little flowers on there like that. I think it'll be okay. pretty. That will work. Okay, I think I'm going to use, um, let me reach over here. Excuse me, folks. There we go. I'm going to use this, um, green that I have. I need a new one. I have some. I just hadn't Open them up yet. Let's see what color. Always artichoke. I should know that. I'm just going to kind of hit this um, fern with a little bit of artichoke. Always artichoke, that is, is the name of it. There we go. And you know I use the oxide inks. 
so it's kind of damp so it might smear it a little bit I do not even know I don't even know if it will or not but there that is now I want to I think these are I don't know what those are um, I don't even know what color to do those. What if... I don't know. I do them yellow. That would be a lot of yellow going on. Um... Let me think. Let me see. What about a little... I don't really have a pink. Let's see. Let me see what I have. Um, let me see what color this turns out to be. White. Let me squeeze it some more. This is called Rose Red. I don't know... kind of cool. Just hit it real lightly. I mean just barely, barely, barely touching it. That's going to be cute. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like that. That is really neat. Kind of gives it a little more something. Okay, got that. All right. Now, these will go on there like that. Let's see, I think I want it like that. That is really kind of cute. I wasn't sure if I was going to like that, but the only thing is, is, if I put it like that, the hole punch is going to go right in the middle of that. It's going to have to go that way. Dead gummit. Darn, darn, darn. I like it the other way. That's okay. I will make it work. It will just have to work. I will kind of move the flowers a little bit. Move those around a little bit. Alright, let me go ahead and put it on here. Whoops. Because it's going to be cute. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I don't know if I have any little... Oh, wait. Where's the top? That's the top. I don't want a hole in that. So I'm going that direction. Really didn't want to go that direction, but I did. Okay, I better poke the hole. I hope I can. I hope I can poke a hole through all that. I mean, that's a lot of layers. Oh, no. That is a lot of layers. Whew, that was rough. That was a little on the rough side, but I got it got a hole in it. Alright, let me get one of my little hole reinforcers and put it on the back. There we go. Then I can journal on the back of that. There. Okay, now flower time. I wish this flower was a little more like that, but this is really cute. I like the way it's turning out. I can work with that. And put that right there. And then that right over here. That's cute. 
That is cute, I must say. Put a little glue. I'm going to put that way up here a little bit. And then this one. Uh, right there. And then that right there. Good enough. Do I want bling on there? Do I, do I? Do I, do I? Oh, that's cute. What do you think? That is really cute. Let's see. Do I have any little sayings? Let's see. I think I have some little tiny... Let's see. Just... Oh, man. What did I do with them? Um, they're itty bitty. Teeny weeny. Here it is. Let's see. I have this and this little punch here. Let's see. Do I want to just put hello? If I can find it. There it is. Hello. And I don't think I'm going to do a border around it. There we go. That's this is such a cute little. It's called Tiny Tags. If they don't have it, you could probably more than likely get it through. Um, uh, you could probably find it on eBay. Because sometimes if I see somebody make a card and I really like the stamps and stuff, you can find it on eBay. So this one is called Organic Grace. You can look at the beginning of the video to see all the stuff. And then um, this is Tiny Tags, and it has a Tiny Tags punch. So let's see. I'm going to put that on there like that. It says hello and it's got a little tiny flower on it. It's so cute. Look, isn't that adorable? Okay. Let's see if I can line it up. That is so cute. And then I want to, of course, ink the edges. Wished I had some more of the. I had some real tiny, tiny, tiny um, um. Let's see. I think I have a tiny little punch. Uh oh, the bottom is still in the thing. Oopsie. Okay, I'm going to punch that. If I can see, it's a tiny little hole punch. Aha, there it is. Look at that. It's a tiny little hole punch. Isn't that cute? And then I can put that. I wished I had some twine that would fit that was little itty bitty but I do you know what I might do I could um, let me do this first so that because otherwise it won't um, I have some of this really I'm going to go ahead and tie uh, that like that. I'm going to push it through. Ooh, this is a mess. Oh my gosh. This is hard. And then I'm going to hold it. 
best I can and then tie it really really tight and then tie a knot and that will give me some well I say I am I hear a vehicle outside I think well I hear loud music vehicle sometimes that's my grandson my oldest grandson he does that so there we go and I can just put that where should I put that should I put it right in the middle of the flowers or up there right there that is like a lot going on right there I don't like that let me cut some more of that off I think I'll put it right there how's that look hello Okay, I think I'll just use a couple of little glue dots for that. And that'll raise it up just a tiny bit. Okay. Are we doing good? How are we doing on time? Or should I just... Um, I don't know now. It's got to be like it's hanging. There. And then I'll put that underneath the flower. There. How's that? That's cute. I like it. Do you like it? I think it's cute. There's a lot of light shining on it. That's really cute. All right. We did it. We got another one done. And so I'll undo this. Stick it towards in the back. There we go. We're on a roll, everybody. We're on a roll. How about that? Y'all kind of see where my favorite colors are. The <laughs> so that is real. Whoops. That's really, really cute. Isn't that darling? Okay, well, I hope you had fun with this little um, journal card. That's what we're going to call them, is little journal cards. So, um, that's our last. That's it. Isn't that cute? See what we can come up with next time. Next week. Oof, that light is really bright. There you go. Isn't that cute? Love it. Alrighty. We shall see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Be sure and give me a thumbs up if you like this. And I really, really hope you're joining in with me on these. And um, I'm going to journal a little bit this afternoon on these. And um, uh, give me a thumbs up, like I said. And then come visit me on my Facebook page. The link is down below. And let me see your little cards that you're making. I sure hope you're joining in with me. Like I said, the size, you can make your own or you can get these at Walmart already in this little white ring. In the stationery department, and it's two inches by three and a fourth. And then you can just put a little hole punch right in the top in the middle. So there we go. Here's our little journal cards done. I hope you like it. Come see me. Bye, everybody. Ha, ha, ha.